Well, good morning, folks. Uh, going out today. It's on my day off. It is Friday. It's a beautiful day. Just about uh, 48 degrees, 50 degrees, not a cloud in the sky. Perfect, perfect day to go metal detecting. I'm going to go do a little door knocking today. I've got one house that I've been eyeballing. It's a bed and breakfast. It was, was built in 1934. But I'm not really interested in that house as much, even though I know that there's probably going to be some stuff out in that yard and around that yard. But behind that house, there was a late 1800s house that had burned down. And I went there one day before the holidays started, and or during the holidays, and I ate there at this bed and breakfast, and I got to talking to the owner and asked him about if I could get permission to hunt. And he sat down with me and told me all about the history. And he said, every time I dig up my flower beds, I'm always digging up pottery. You know, I'm thinking, ding, 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 ding. There's going to be a lot more stuff out there where that house was where he's digging up. And so I'm going to run out there today and just visit with him and just see if I can just go ahead and do some detecting since I'm out there. It's a little bit of drive for me, about 30 minutes away, but hopefully it's going to be a good location, one that I can go back to on many times. It's a really big property, and uh, hopefully it's going to it's going to pay out real good. So uh, let's uh, let's uh, shut this camera off. Let's get on the road. Let's get out there. Let's go have some fun. Let's go. I made it out to my location and talked to the landowner, the house owner, and he said it was fine to uh, do some detecting. I can't come out here tomorrow. They got a big uh, group coming out from uh, Louisiana, about 30 people. But uh, it's a real nice place. Got a nice, huge, big yard out here. A lot of stuff been lost out here. Hopefully, this house is a 1934 home. And uh, what I'm really interested in in the back. He said that there's a house back here in the back that's early 19, 1800s, late 1800s, early 1900s, and it has burned down, and they have found some stuff out there. So that's where I'm going to kind of focus and out here and just kind of spend the rest of the day and see what we come up with. I'm getting a late start because on my way here, I had 
a flat tire. I hit a screwdriver in the road. I heard it hit my truck and I looked back and I saw it flipping down the road. And then a few minutes later, my tire pressure gauge on my dashboard went down and I had to stop over on the side of the highway and change the tire. And uh, so that slowed me down, but it's still, I still got about three or four hours of daylight left. So let's get out there. And if I find anything, I'll turn the camera on and definitely show you. So let's hope for it. We're gonna have some fun, find some good stuff. Let's get at it. I'm gonna be hunting with my Equinox 800. I've got this little bitty uh, telescoping uh, carbon fiber shaft I put on here. And look, that thing is very short. That's what I like about that. It's gonna make it real good, easy traveling when I go to England and just telescopes out and real compact. So that's what I'm gonna be hunting with. And uh, so let's get at it. As you can see, it extends out really nice. And today I'm gonna to be hunting in full horseshoe and uh, just on my regular park setting, park one. And uh, we're gonna go with our sensitivity and all that, just normal. Our swing speed's gonna be uh, at a five. Let's bring that down. Yeah, but we'll be about a five. So we're just gonna leave it all about the same what, what is gonna be custom setting. So, all right, let's go have some fun. Got a 35 here. Very small target, so let's go see what this is. Well, it was nothing but just a, a big old brass nut. That's why it's ringing up so good. All right, let's keep going. Well, this is my first target. I've been out here about 45 minutes. It's just a some type of tag with three zeros on it. Maybe another number right there once I cleaned it up. Targets are few and far between out here. <laughs> Haven't got a decent signal yet. This is the first one. I'm out here in the backyard now work in the side yard, seeing what we come up with. So let's uh, let's get at it. There's gotta be something out here. Let's keep going. Well, I got my first really good signal here. It's ringing up like a 22, 23. It's gonna be a brass buckle. Uh, just not a lot out here today. But you have these kind of days at places like this. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. Let's keep going, see what else we can find. It's getting a 22 signal here, I'm down here close to the highway. Again, uh, stuff that you get at Old Ho Homestead. That is a uh, harmonica reed, a whole one. Just goes to show you, you don't always find good stuff. All right, let's keep going. Running out of sunlight. Well, I'm back up by the house again. I've been working around the gazebo and came up here by this little white fence and uh, got this 24 signal. And it's an old, uh, Art Deco type of buckle, some type of sash buckle, what it looks like, probably early, early 1900s. I'm going to have to clean that up and see what that looks like. All right, let's keep going. Maybe there's something else out here. I was getting 11 here. Let me get out of the sun, in the sunlight. And it's a pocket watch back. Eh, copper, nothing fancy. All right, let's keep going. Let's get a 22, 23, and you can see it right there. It's just gonna be a, some type of button. Shank is still on it. No design on it. Got a little green to it. Probably 40s, 30s maybe. Well, getting closer to a coin. We got a buckle, we got some buttons. Now we just need some coins. Let's keep looking. Well, I got a D, a little D buckle. Still sounds like there's something in the hole. Check this out. I can't really tell if that's falsing or if that's really something down in there. I'm gonna dig it, but I'm not gonna view it, uh, show it to you, but if it's something good, I'll, I'll definitely turn the camera back on and show it to you. It's uh, another piece of this was in the in the hole with that D buckle, big old piece of glass. All right, let's keep going. Now this one is a solid 35, 36. Let's go around here. 35, about four inches down. We'll live dig this one. We'll see what we come up with here. Hopefully, it's going to be a silver dime, or maybe a quarter. It'd be my first silver coin. It definitely sounds silver. Let's see. Let's hope. 
I doubt it. Nope, there it is. That's what I've been finding all this, just a lot of this aluminum can junk. All right, let's check the hole just to make sure. Yep, that was it. All right, let's keep going. Well, I'm gonna call this a day. It's uh, getting kind of late. Sun's about going down. I'm gonna shoot the wrap up here. Uh, normally, I wouldn't show you this video. I would just delete it off my SD card and not just not even worry about it. But you know what? I read somewhere online the other day, somebody was asking, what do you like to see in YouTube videos? You know, and I've always been the type that's always shown just the good stuff that I find. I never find all the junk and all the non-real treasures. I just find all the good stuff and don't really waste camera film on all the other stuff. But today is one of those days I think I'm going to turn around and show you everything that I found. Just to show you that it doesn't matter. You can, you can research. You can find a location just like this location. Look how big this, this front yard is. You can find this location. It dates back to the late 1800s. It's got a nice house built in the 30s. Got an older house in the late eight, late 1900s, I mean, I'm sorry, in the back that's burned down, big backyard. All this, get permission, you get the tools, you come out here and you hunt and you find absolutely nothing. I found one coin, it was a zinc penny, and uh, the rest of it was just a little old stuff. It just goes to show you though, that you don't always find good stuff, do you? And it doesn't matter who you are, how good you are, what kind of equipment you get, you still get days where you just absolutely find nothing. So I'm gonna show you those kind of days for me. So let me turn you around here and let me get my other camera if I can get a close up. Let me show you what I got. All right, here's the stuff that I found today. Typical farmhouse stuff, an old ax head. Boy, they must've hit that hard to knock off that whole point. Uh, brass bolt, that was my first target. Just, just junk, just more junk. Mason jar lids, you'll find a lot of that. A lot of aluminum, a lot of big brass ringing up in the 40 on the Equinox, some old glass. And just, oh, that rang up too, like a 40, that rang up really good. And then you get some more of this stuff. Then I got must over in a barn area, and I got a, some, I don't know what that is. Definitely looks like some type of horse tack. This looks like a, a bridle, maybe one part of the bridle, the other piece over here. Or it could be a tractor pin, but I think it looks a bridle. I think it looks like a bridle. But... You can see I was digging a lot of targets and I was digging all all signals, uh, just seeing what I could come up with. And and uh, there's a, a, a chrome top and just all types of just garbage, just garbage. I guess the best finds of the day are going to be this harmonica reed. Found a couple of those. You always find them on the old homestead. The old pocket watch back. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, here's the bees. I got my my button with the shank still on it. I got my D there. And I've got this is probably going to be the best find of the day. This buckle, I'm going to clean it up and see what it looks like later on. I'll show you some pictures in the wrap up. And uh, I got that little thing. I don't know what it is. Looks like some type of aluminum tag. And this, I guess, would be my best buckle. This, this, these two right here are really good. That's got a lot of de decoration. Looks like Art Deco, early 1900s here. Uh, maybe there'll be a, a maker's mark on the back or something I can date it. But, uh, yeah, that's it. You have those kind of days where you just don't have a lot. There's all the trash. And there's my treasure for the day, not a whole lot. I guess you got to have these kind of days to appreciate the better kind of days. But, uh, like I always say, you know, the greatest treasure is not what you can find in the ground. The greatest treasure is what's going to be found up in heaven, my friends. Keep looking up. Keep searching. Until we meet again, I just want to say happy hunting. And God bless.